All right, we seem to have our technical issues all worked out. Not really sure what happened there, but things seem to be working now. So welcome to WWE Champions 2021 from the beginning. I am Outlaw PD. Let's hop into the game. So if you were... If you're watching this on YouTube or you just missed the last uh, five minutes, I went through all of my um, mail and rewards and stuff and opened all that up. And then when I tried to start a match, um, everything froze up. And it seemed to be an issue with Firefox. Uh, I rebooted and I still couldn't get it to load up. So I had to clean up all the my cache and uh, clean up the memory. And then I tried again, and that seemed to work. So I don't know if it got bad data in there that was locking it up or whatever. Uh, I was able to load WWE Champions up in other browsers, but I don't have it uh, set up for other browsers in Twitch Studio. So it took a little bit, but we're rolling right along now. Well, hopefully. I haven't tried a match yet. So let's take a look. Okay, so it did start the match uh, since Christian and Kurt are injured. Let's get them all healed up. Good thing we got all those uh, free heal packs from... Uh, the Snoop Vault. So what we were trying to do was go into a showdown match. Let's cross our fingers. Anyway, since I'm not going to put those last 10 minutes up on uh, YouTube, I'll go over the NXT TakeOver Vengeance matches again that I discussed. Uh, Johnny Gargano versus Kushida for the North American Championship. I think Kushida is going to win the title eventually. I just don't think it's going to be in this pay-per-view. I, I predict Johnny will get the win with the some assistance from Austin Theory and who knows who else. Dexter Loomis may be involved as well, but uh, Johnny will find a way to hang on. And the Dusty Rhodes Classic Women's Finals, Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez versus Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart. Well, it would seem to make the most sense that Ember and Shotzi win since they would get a title shot and it'd be a face versus heel dynamic I'm predicting that uh, Dakota and Raquel are going to get the win and if um, Naya and Shayna still have the titles at that point that should be a very interesting match if it would come to that I guess really either of them would be uh, interesting matches Uh, Ember and Shotzi would be pretty good against them as well. All right, quick win there. That gets that out of the way. Next, we'll head out to our career and knock out a Saturday Slam match real quick. Cleaning up everything, wiped out all the things that I'd saved up over the past. So we'll be seeing a lot of pop-ups that we haven't seen in since episodes like two or three. 
So right there, a nice refresher. Okay. Now we may come back to this later um, if we're shooting to uh, level up uh, Kurt. But for now, we just want to get through all the daily missions and then we'll figure out our path. So next we'll do one match here. Trying to get all of these league points is just It's easy to do, just takes a lot of days, since you can only get so many each day. I know eventually it reaches a point where league points are no longer needed to level up, hopefully. Uh, that's coming soon going well um yeah i'm not sure exactly what happened uh something loaded up in my browser and just froze it up wwe champions wouldn't load anymore but we seem to be doing all right now sometimes the uh just a good old reboot will fix everything how are you doing tonight dbd kiwi Okay, so that's one match there. Next, we'll go to our roster. And, well, let's take a look at Kurt. Three glasses and a bunch of uh, smaller ones. So nothing that we can get tonight. Maybe we'll go after some of them later. But... There, that'll take care of moves. We'll give Natalia a level. And since we don't have any titles on anyone yet, we're just upgrading medals. And actually, since I reset everything, we don't have any uh, sound, so let's I don't know if this will work this time, but we'll have it uh, a little bit louder than I want. There we go. Two weeks of holiday, that's nice. I'm going to probably have something like that sometime this year. Um, because of the pandemic, I didn't use any of my uh, vacation time. Or very little of it last year, so it all carried over to this year. And there's so much of it I have to use, so it would be a matter of picking out a week or two and getting approved and doing it. I always joke with my wife. It's like, yeah, maybe I'll just take a week off and just stream the whole week. All right. So all these will get us through all the bags.
and that will so jump in the world too quick air i'm up to 10 league uh loot pools uh, we're trying to save save them until we reach uh league level nine and then we'll try to use them there uh 11,100 points um so probably won't have enough on Tuesday. Next Friday, though, yeah, we can put that on the calendar. Next Friday will be League Night, League Nine Night. Assuming I finish these up, let's head to them. So we're in the WWE Live Tour. Or no, we're not WWE Live yet. We're still NXT hard. <laughs> Did you want to take the, the whole two weeks off? Or was it kind of forced on you? We're in the middle of Charleston here, tag team match. We'll do pretty much like I did on um, Tuesday night. If it's a tag team match, we'll run Christian and Kurt. And if it's a singles match, we'll run Goldberg. And that should get us through as much of this tour as we can. Maybe after a couple cities, we'll hop over and do some of the uh, month-long tours. Get some faction points and solo points there. Early reboard shuffle. Always love when the reshuffle gives them exactly what they need. Uh, since I'll have black next turn, let's go ahead and take these blues. I always wondered if I took two weeks off, would I be able to find enough stuff to keep myself entertained for the whole two weeks? I don't think I've taken that many days off, uh, in a row since my honeymoon. So we'll go up to diving out elbow first, get the three yellows there. That way the diving crossbody won't land on them. And that's gonna take care of that one. One thing I haven't looked at, 
or I don't remember looking at recently is uh, perks. Do I have anything to make these matches easier? We'll go take a look at that now. First, put in Goldberg and Okay, I have unlocked one showdown one, but I never unlocked the month long ones. Yeah, it gets me five percent more health. That's a little bit of something. I haven't unlocked any of the other ones, so we'll just go with that for now. I only need 19 more to get to the next one, which is 10%, and then they start getting better with uh, color moves starting with more points. Pretty helpful to get those. There are some in there for um, faction feuds and some for showdowns. We saw we unlocked the one for the showdowns. I will probably won't be unlocking any for faction feuds. Um, I most likely won't be able to do any or much of it this weekend anyway. So might as well just save the coins and use them for other things. And always random never goes where you want it to. Row breaks versus column breaks. The battle to decide it all. So since I can't get the blast gem, we'll put it there. And we'll use my column break to wipe out his row break. And this might be enough damage to get the pin. Yes. Nice. Okay, the men's final with the Dusty Cup. It's MSK versus the Grizzled Young Veterans. MSK's looked really impressive uh, since they started in NXT. But I think they're going to go with uh, the Grizzled Young Veterans on this one. Give the victory to the v veteran team as opposed to the new upstarts. But MSK certainly has a great future ahead of them. And feel free to put your predictions in the chat if uh, you have any for the card this weekend. That'll be an interesting to, thing to see when it finally happens. Um, here in the U.S. with uh, the WWE Network becoming part of Peacock. Will that draw more eyes to WWE's product and things like NXT?
Now that was a waste because there was only one yellow. Probably should have held on to that. Okay, we'll go one more turn with uh, Christian and then make the tag. He'll have both of these moves ready and Kurt with this blue move probably will have all three of them. Yeah, NXT is an acquired taste, but uh, I'm glad it's an acquired taste that I have. But that's how uh, how I used to do the uh, my network subscription. I would. Start my subscription at the Royal Rumble and keep it up through WrestleMania and then cancel it. But with uh, the pandemic, it's like, I'm going to be home a lot. Let's just hang on to it. That'll give me something more to watch uh, while I'm working. And then because I was watching it, my wife started watching all of it too and Now wrestling's on in our house two to three nights a week. And next uh, Tuesday, NBC is going to start up a series based off of uh, the rock growing up. It's like, oh, do I change my streaming night so I can watch that? Man. No, nah, but I'm sure I'll uh, catch it on a DVR. All right, back to Goldberg. He has class advantage in this one. There's so much decent wrestling out on TV now that uh, um, Impact has a pay-per-view this weekend. And I haven't followed them as well as I should and AEW. It's definitely a good time to be a wrestling fan. Definitely two uh, pay-per-views worth watching. Yeah, when War Games was coming up, I went back and rewatched every War Games match up to up to that point, and then with the Rumble, I did the same thing. Let's see. 
It's a big hit. This might be enough. He's getting a lot of cascading, though. Nope, got it. Ah, New Zealand, yes. I was going to ask if that's where you're from because the name seemed to make sense. Um, that's one place I want to visit sometime. Um, my wife's saying we should go so, someplace like Aruba for our 25th anniversary, and I'm more for uh, let's go to New Zealand or maybe go to England. We have enough time uh, at the beach. There's so much other stuff to see. All right, so that takes care of Charleston hard. Let's go claim that reward. Two epic tokens. Eh, not bad. Now, there were the side notes for that one. We'll come back to them at some other time. Uh, we'll need to get three stars on all these once we unlock Hell anyway. But for now, I'm not worried about it. So, uh, speaking of unlocking it, so the next one I have to get is get Indianapolis. You can see all of these are locked because I haven't three-starred all the matches in front of it. So, I guess that's what I'll be working on right now. The nice thing is these should go pretty quick with uh, higher-level superstars. Fifty-five, sixty-five against a thousand. This should be real quick. Yeah, let's do that. We'll th three-star these cities here, so that uh, I'm ready to uh, do the hard tour next time then we'll go do some of the month long tours okay 25 of 30 there's one So for the uh, women's title, we got Io Shirai versus Mercedes Martinez versus Tony Storm. I don't think it's going to be Mercedes. Uh, I think she'll be the one taking the fall in the match. But will the title stay on Io or will it move to Tony? Uh, I can see. I could see both happening. It's almost a coin flip for me. Uh, so let's go with Tony in that one. Because you usually think there's going to be at least one title change somewhere on a pay-per-view. And that kind of uh, gives away my prediction for the main event.
I guess might as well just go right to it. Main event for the uh, NXT Championship, Finn Balor against Pete Dunne. I am so looking forward to this match. Um, both of those guys are remarkable wrestlers. Two of my favorites to watch. I think Finn's going to win because they're, they'll want him to do something for WrestleMania. He'll be the uh, um, superstar that has a match from NXT. So actually, yeah, let's, let's go back into that. Links. Any color move starts with one more move point. That's a pretty nice one. I could also link him with uh, Batista. Matching any color gem charges moves of that color by one more point. Actually, that one's probably more beneficial. So let's go ahead and team him with Batista and just never tag. I agree. Uh, while he could have a solid place on the main roster, he almost needs live crowds to make that uh, him carrying that role work uh, when he's using the uh, Demon Balor character and things like that. Uh, when he doesn't have to get fancy and just wrestles to the best of his ability, like his, you'd want on NXT, he's just so damn good. That's been the uh, interesting thing with SmackDown lately. Other uh, technically sound, not high level uh, showmen are getting uh, more or put over more, like Cesaro. Go into the ring, show off your stuff, and put on a show that way. There's like so much talk about um, new wrestlers who come in and how they don't have the psychology of a match down. It's all high spots and um, it takes away from the product. It almost becomes more of a circus than a wrestling match. And people like Finn, they understand that and put it to great use in their matches. Hit the high spot where it's needed, but build up to it to make it more exciting. So what products do you get in New Zealand or do you have to catch them all on the network after they uh, come out? Do you get Raw, NXT, or SmackDown Weekly? I guess uh, even further, AEW or any of the other promotions. Uh, 
All right, that takes care of Chicago. Detroit, we only got four stars to get. Patrons of the Blues. That's all right. We're in pretty good shape here. Uh, okay. Since I do this right after SmackDown airs here, I've often wondered, like, okay, I'm talking about SmackDown. I wonder if I'm ruining it for anyone who watched my stream before getting a chance to actually see the shows. But then... With the internet age and all the results being put out there almost immediately in reviews, it's like, eh. Nice looking board here. Class advantage on Kofi. Those extra percentages add up nicely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't remember which pay per view it was, but um, I had something with uh, my family that day, and I we knew we were gonna miss it. So it's like, okay, I'm just going to stay offline all that night, and then. I work the next morning and it's like, um, don't, don't go online. Don't look at results. You're going to watch it in the evening. Then I had to stay away from, uh, the networks that carried it. Cause like, okay, I don't want any spoilers and any previews like that. It was hard to avoid it, but 
managed to keep it a surprise. Got to be one of the harder, harder things now. Uh, wrestling organizations keeping uh, things under wraps. But the AEW and Impact and New Japan with all their crossovers, they did a really good job with that. Never sure who you're going to see next on any of those shows. We got this one wrapped up just to get the icing on the cake there. All right, that finishes Detroit. St. Louis, we need nine stars. All the beginning matches, like three stars, the two at the end. That's interesting. Yellows or greens to help out to start here. So we'll take those blacks off of him. That could be an interesting element to this game. I'd almost have to utilize it with like a new character, a new character, but have a uh, a heel element to it, uh, where. One of their moves does remarkable damage, but there's a 
say a 20% chance that if you use the move, you just, you lose the match. Sort of like getting caught giving a low blow. It's beneficial if no one sees it, but there's the chance that you could get caught. Yeah, they had um, like some of the bleed move. I think Drew had this, the, the bleed move where it doesn't always cause damage, but when it does, it does a lot of damage. Maybe so. Could steal that type of programming for something like it. Certainly got lots of room to uh, explore, though. They got the fire gems and the snow gems that just started recently and not many superstars are using, so... Definitely be interesting to see how they can keep making this game better. Another thing I often wondered is uh, we had the coaches and the trainers, but what if there was a way to utilize real managers in the game, like uh, Captain Lou or Bobby Heenan? Could they add that element into the game somehow? We'll say have, having a free three-star gold character and having to do nothing for it was is certainly making this a lot easier. Eventually it's going to catch up and we have to level some of these other people take out some of these matches, but for now, just letting Goldberg run over everything. Yeah, Heenan wrestled uh, Mr. Fuji. Uh, Freddy Blassie. A lot of the greats.
or even the valets. Uh, you could have Miss Elizabeth or Sensational Sherry, though she she wrestled. Or Sapphire. Kevin's getting a few moves here, but our health is fine. And anything like that, that could get us Paul Heyman into the game. Wow, that was easy. All right, 24 24. St. Louis done. A lot to do in Cleveland, though. Yeah, we'll actually get some new matches here since I didn't. A couple on the side nodes there I didn't do. Um, I uploaded. Tuesday's episode to YouTube and I was looking at some of the analytics that uh, YouTube has available and I don't know if this person is going to watch again but if they do I wanted to thank them somebody did a search for uh, Gerson's Gaming and my episode came up in the search engine and they watched two hours and 40 some minutes of it so Thank you for whoever that was for checking me out. And thank you to Gerson for having such name recognition that uh, people would search for your streams and stumble across mine. The internet rabbit hole is a pretty interesting thing sometimes.
Okay. Just rolling right through these. And scarce tokens. All right. Something we can use. No wild cards, no green or yellow to start, but you know, Kane got a good bit of what he needed. Uh, that was one of the characters that uh, when I started the game in my other account and got him leveled a few places, it's like, wow, he's pretty good. Until I started leveling some of the other characters that I got. And it's like, oh, he's not as good as I thought he was. Somewhere on the tour, there's uh, matches where you have to use him. And I still haven't beat him because I just don't want to level him to pull it off. All right, let's put this somewhere good so we can end this fast. Nope. Blues into reds. There's a, that one right there would be a good one. Thank you. Oh, why not? Go ahead, Typhoon, finish it. Oh, that's those two side notes. Picked up some nice rewards along the way. Go back to Batista for the quicker fill. No, it doesn't do you any good if you can't match the colors you need. Oh, and then we got Samoa Joe here. Steal four green, so that could be a problem. Fortunately, we're going to end this before it gets to that point.
You got to remember who has MP stealing abilities and sometimes work around them to put yourself into a hole where you can never get a move off and they're just repeating moves over and over with all your MP. So again, nothing good on the start. Have to give him those yellows right there. Let's get a good reshuffle here. Ah, options. Yeah, let's go with get the greens, get the blacks on the cascade. Oh, that's a nice cascade. I like when I choose right like that, like I'd planned it. Two more to clean up. Nice wild card start. And I'll take some yellows to go with it. Wow. Just love the squash match. And at the end of this line's the Miz. One star left. And then one city left. That's going to be a big one. Not big enough, though. If you want to see uh, 
somebody use the Miz on a stream. Um, DJ and on ZT just did a uh, video with him, and then a second video with him teamed up with John Cena. him in danger. We'll throw the blast gem, see if we can get something over in this corner. Perfect. Get us a little extra bonus out of this match. And that leaves Indy. But before going to Indy, uh, might as well get some promotion for the Hillbilly Gyms. Yeah, um, when I uh, remember when I started and you know looking on the web of like what characters sh should I upgrade, um, I saw the Miz mentioned as someone that was really good. And then I'm glad I didn't listen. And the Hillbilly Gyms are up to eight members. A few of them are still um, low league levels, though, but they should be getting to the point where they can take part in faction events and things like that. It'll be interesting to see if we can grow. Yeah. I really wish I could see who I leveled up back when I started and who I used for these tours.
I can remember not wanting to run into any um, striker brace because they seem so awesome. I think I used a lot of Daniel or Acrobat Daniel Bryan. Pretty sure he was in um some sort of starter pack and it's like wow a whole column of multiply gems that's remarkable how can you lose yeah stardust mm-hmm Every powerhouse I had seemed so slow. I think I used a lot of um, technician... Uh, Dean Ambrose too because yeah uh, that move that um moved the pin bar it's like ooh that's that's really beneficial damage and it almost causes a pin that was a dumb place to put that because you're gonna get it anyway uh, let's see what can I do. Well, I can do it this way, I guess. Still get it. Leaves a black on the board because he can't use it. But Bray can, so. Oh, yeah, Triple H Striker. Another one that <laughs> when I first started using him, it's like, wow, he's really good too. No. The chokehold slows him down and can end the match. This is great.
then there was Naomi. She keeps healing. She's never going to get pinned. An hour later, finally getting the win. That should be the fun thing with this account. If I get some of uh, the superstars that I never did anything with because I heard they were bad, maybe I'll do stuff with them in this account, like Neville or uh, Darren Young. People like that. Right. Use Typhoon just to break up the submission so I don't lose all those move points. Since Goldberg hits a lot harder than Typhoon ever will. Well, maybe not ever, but at least in this match. This one's going a little bit slow. I'm not getting the matches I need. But this will speed it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Seamus. He steals health. He's remarkable. But yeah, that should be the uh, if I do get any time to feud this weekend, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Um, log into this account here and use my main account on the phone and set them both into the feud. Try to get through them both as quickly as possible. But I can't, because I'm trying to show every match I do with this account. Uh, either just let it sit there and not wrestle for a half an hour or stream and talk to people while I'm playing my main account.
guess I could do that. Uh, clone how I have this window set up on another browser. Have one browser in this account, one browser in my main account, and then just flip back and forth between them on a studio. That might actually be something interesting to try. Probably not for, I wouldn't have enough time to get it set up for this feud, but uh, maybe the one in two weeks. All right, Undertaker, let's just end this. Yeah, I said I was going to look into adding my main roster to uh, my roster document there, tinyurl.com slash outlawpd roster, and haven't done that yet either. It was a busy week of work. All right, 20 of 24, two matches to go. At Big Cascade, win this one. And last but not least, the authority. Okay. So we've three starred all of the normal matches on the WWE Live Tour, which means uh, Tuesday. Unless there's a more exciting event going on, I'll work on the hard levels and between Tuesday and Friday, we should be able to knock out these five cities and be ready for League Level 9 next Friday. Go 
claim some points and some stars. Anything here I need? Going to need them later, but don't need them right now. This is probably the best one that I could use right now, so go ahead and take them. Well, let's take a look at the Hillbilly Gems. So. There's a way to see. Okay. Okay, so Johnny's league level seven, so he's at the point where he can take part in faction stuff. Meticulous, league level five, so he's still got a couple to go. He or she. Another League 5, so yeah. Building up. They just got to get past the... Uh, or get into the... Get to League 7, and, and we'll see what can happen at the faction level. Faction event level. Okay, so let's head out to events here. We've got this Ivar Feud Frenzy Tour. The first track, you need a Viking Raider. So, not doing that one. Second one, you need a Ricochet. No good. Third one, a modern era superstar. So I've got a few choices here. Apparently this is going to be one era that I should uh, work on leveling somebody in since I don't have much excitement here. Um, Probably have what I need to get Roman to Okay, yeah, we could get him to two gold. But instead of using the tokens, I'm trying to wait wait out the uh shards, so Let's look at this Daniel Bryan. Leveled some of his moves, but haven't leveled him up any. Uh, I don't want to put resources into him, though. I don't really want to. We'll go with Jeff. Okay. Should be able to squeak out a couple of wins here and get some points for this event. Don't know if I'm going to get enough to get the first award, but yeah, we'll try. See what we can get out of this.
It was good to see uh, Seth Rollins back on SmackDown tonight. Um, did a great job of uh, <laughs> making sure he stayed heel. When he came out and the Thunderdome crowd was cheering him on, it's like, oh, well, they working, work him towards being a face again? Nope. few Ivar shards out of these. I'm not going to get enough to claim him, but get a few saved up here. And then the the fourth track is um, technician based, so we can use Kurt, and there's some other non-shard rewards in there. Ah, Randy. Savage is pretty good. Looking at his moves. The knee drop only costs five and makes column break gems. This is the nice one. The atomic drop only costs two. Destroy a two by two area. So, like, if he had it right now and he put it over those, he can use it again. It's a very useful tool. Then the finisher five thousand and destroy twelve gems. Pretty solid. Low cost stuff that can benefit him. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I don't see any. Cascade possibilities. So, let's take five on the left and then the Swanton. I don't know, 19,000 left, but I'm not feeling comp confident in this one. Yeah, if it ends up, yep. He can blow up this area right here, get both of those rows. I don't think I'm winning this one. Eh, he didn't choose there, but it didn't matter. Okay.
It's a thing to work on, a modern era, era superstar. Set down the track four. Get to wrestle zombies. Okay, that's where we looked at this earlier. Three glasses and a few of the smaller tokens. I don't think I ha he has anything to mess with purple. No. Five hundred blitz tokens. That's a pretty nice reward. Be useful later down the road. Guess step one is win and Zombie Austin seven charge. Okay, now this one is because it's low level. It's 2082, and force, force, force your opponent to only skip one turn. Later, it becomes two turns. And the stunner. Choose a three by one area, area to destroy. Don't see it used often. And choose five to make into silence. That's usually used by zombie Austin players. No blues. So we'll take these greens. Still not going to have anything charged up, but him in danger we might be able to that's gonna get those get those one short so we're gonna get stunned for a turn From here, I really don't care what he does, because actually we'll use that one first. Okay. And that'll get the pen, but even if it didn't, we'd have the submission ready. Okay, so yeah, that... The points aren't going to happen in this tour. There's just not enough of them. So let's look to see what we can get. 25 TP, that's worth going after. A rare, that's probably worth going after. All right. There's some good things here, so we'll try it. If it was just more points or more shards I would was gonna skip over to the regular monthly tours and what we got here all right so 
Zombie Taker. He's a recycling machine. Deal 3574, destroy three random blue. Uh, trap gems, broken by your opponent. Make one random green gem into a multiplied gem. If broken by you, make two random gems into green gems. And then the finisher. Deal 74, 63, and destroy four random black gems. So these two indirectly beat each other. This one's not quite as exciting. But green gems do damage too. Oh, that was some gorgeous placement. Even if he does kick out, we got the sharpshooter ready for next turn. No problem. Zombie Rock. This guy can be a pain. Okay, so this one isn't quite as exciting. Uh, higher levels, it gets much more diabolical. Four charge, destroy a red. Okay. Nine charge, and make one red into a blast. And the people's elbow, 8345, and destroy a random trap gem. Uh, his trap gems, when he breaks them, they cause... Uh, stuns, so. There's enough trap gems left. The finisher stuns the opponent for a while and gives him time to reload up. Right there, right there, not right there. Hmm. Now if he would have sat on that for one more turn, well, he recharged it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But he can make a bread into a blast and then blow it up. Or he could just take a red and have his finisher ready. Lots of options. Let's not give it, give it to him. No, I don't see any row or column breaks. So... So he's going to take the Blast Gem approach. Okay. 
actually using all three moves. Nice. I'm a fan. All right, and here's at the end of our zombie train. Kane. Of all the zombies, that's the one I most want for my main account. Yellow, red, and stuns go real nicely with Bam Bam. Well, I guess rock would work pretty well, too. So he has a two charge heal. The extinction slam making mix yellows. And then his shattered tombstone destroys yellows. He also has a uh, stun in his arsenal, but not using it this low. Cycle through all three of his moves right here. That'll charge up the sharpshooter. Or no, the I'm sorry, the ankle lock. Wrong submission, but right effect. Would a zombie ever tap out? Okay, so we got through all four of them. We didn't three-star them all, though, so we won't be able to do the hard tour, but that's okay. Let's... Well, one thing I wanted to do... 
in the store. Is it store? I think so. Okay, so for four ninety nine or four ninety nine cash, you get a crate here. It had a two star bronze ricochet, two star bronze Robert Rude. Two star bronze Adam Cole, two star bronze Pete Dunn, or shards for Ricochet, Adam, or Ivar. Don't quite have four ninety nine though, so not gonna do that. Checking out. The prize wall. And we'll just click that one. We have 262 t-shirts. So probably nothing on this one. A hundred TP and 10 healing packs for 250. I could get them. Sit on the champions and the premiums. Um, if you're looking for what is the best values um, on Merrick's stream, he has a uh, video with discussing which ones to buy and which ones aren't worth it. Check that out if you're not quite sure. You say, i I getting some t-shirts here, so we'll get something out of this month. Let's see if we can get some more t-shirts, though. Fourth anniversary tour. There's two new ones that came out this week. A women's and a men's. So... Do some women's matches here. Uh... Earn extra points if you use Bailey. Since I've leveled her a little bit, we'll just give her a go. How to make this work? These need to be a little bit tough and stronger, so. Go ahead and do a little bit of leveling. I'm not sure what level the this becomes two. Don't have enough to find out. And we'll level her up to 50. Okay. 
Now, trainers and coaches. You definitely want to put a. <laughs> so that means that account hasn't been used in a real long time, then, has it? Christian will bump up uh, Bailey's finisher, so that's nice. I really don't think I have anything else that will benefit her. So... Throw Goldberg on there. And let's give her a go. The main focus on Bailey's red because the red move increases the your blue MP. When red's not an option, go ahead and take blue. So I'm going to gain four blue MP, which will fill that, fill that. It doesn't matter where I put it because even without the bonus damage, uh, Bailey's got this one. Six thousand six hundred seventy points for that win. That's pretty nice. Fifty T-shirts for this one. Gonna get a pin, but not much damage, and see what she takes here. Okay, I'll happily take that wild card. Now I could use the red to finish filling that up, but we're going to have it next turn anyway, so... We'll save it for now. Get the first row on. And go ahead and take those blues. And this is going to allow me to refill the crossbody, which will get me a second row. And we'll go there. And 
Now I have 14 color turns on the board. That should be enough to finish it. T-shirts, not bad. Lacey. Before we do Lacey, we'll go down here and do the tag team match. So SmackDown link gets me one more move point. Modern Era gets 5% more gem damage. I think I like that move point. And actually, not that we should get to that point, but Kofi makes color turns, so... This one could be tough, though. Yeah, 40,000, as long as, uh, I can get Bailey's moves done quickly. Should have, should be able to pull this one off. Go ahead and use that. Now, um, I have the choice of do I take something else? Or do I take these blues and wipe out one of my color turn gems? Okay, so next turn we'll have this full, which can fill up that. That's when we'll use the finisher. So let's take away, well, what does she have here? Destroy three random black. Oh, that's going to put her in her finisher. Damn it. So it's now or never. Well, now or never is now or never. Fourteen thousand, not enough. Yeah, but got two matches with Bailey in the bonus, so that's not bad. Let's up the stakes a little bit. Bring in Natalia. Bring in Dolph. Okay. 
she's another one where I could use some better trainers. The raw tag team link will help me out a little bit, get me one point closer. This China has Sting charging up her red moves. And she got 25% more gem damage. Yeah, they're going to just take the five right out of the gate there. Now there's this wild card here, but now was that random? Not sure who is random or not, but. Some pretty nice placement if it was. I could put on the, the finisher there, but I'm not worried about the DDT here. Yeah, it has to be random. There's no reason anyone would have put those there. Let's go ahead and steal some health back. Puts her down to 12,000. My finisher does over 12, so this should result in the Tag breakup. And then hopefully we can finish her off. Yep. Now I have the tag breakup as well if I need it. Okay, so 5,864, her finisher will definitely end it. So I have to get the win this turn. This will put her in danger. I just need to hope it doesn't hit any of this P right here, and uh, luckily it missed it. Okay. Ten more tokens. See if we can beat Lacey 
this one's going to be tough because Lacey got cheap moves. She's got a thousand more power than me to begin with. But you never know. Leech gems. So every turn, she's turning every purple gem into a leech gem. 3486. They're <laughs> essentially heal each heal gems, giving her 3486 and taking 3486 off of me. All right, so. And not heal uh, life steal gems. So let's steal some of that right back. She also has a straight up heal, nineteen thousand, and then that finisher is just that's gonna hurt. <laughs> gonna hurt a lot. All right. It doesn't hurt much, but does a little bit of damage. This will be the deciding factor. And that cascade's definitely going to do it. Okay. Well, we stuck three of those ones out. Down here on the men's side. Flare is the contest. And we got one. Move Bray over. See what he can do. Gotta love a super flex. Boom. Pretty nice hit there. But we're out. Oh, one gem short. All 
All right. A few more points. And we'll get a few more t-shirts if we can pull this one off. Oh, that was some nice placement there. <coughs> he kicks out of this. We got the both black moves ready, including the finisher. And the finisher is enough, so no reason a four round. Now, it took him down to 600, but because he's bleeding, he bleeds out the last of the, his damage and wraps that one up. And. Similar to uh, the match against Lacey. I'm probably overmatched in this one, but we'll try it anyway. Right, so what's this coal running? Yeah, maybe not. Uh, running with a slower build here. Random choose, and then if he gets there, uh, yeah, we're losing anyway. He just has so much health, though. I don't think I'm going to get enough damage in time, but you don't know unless you try. So is that to choose? Yeah, that's the choose two to make into yellow. He's going to get a row or a column out of it. Oh, and that charges up his finisher, which will end it. Alrighty.
actually 19 loot. What do I have in here? Okay, there's 14 of them. Let's go ahead and pull these before we call it a night. Five hundred thousand, always good. Ten out of shards. tokens Get some gift boxes Getting all the Otises here. Two hundred thousand, not bad. Leaves us with four. Bink, bink, bink. And number 20. Okay. Got one pool of uh, keys. That Fandango would be great. It's going to be a new superstar. Rick Ashe. Another showboat. I'm just getting loaded with showboats. Oh, and then we still have all the Silver League loots. Now, the headliner loot every 6,000, you get. Either a four, yeah, four star silver or a three star gold. Let's go ahead and open that up. Ain't sure what we got there, but that's something we can use. And then diamonds. Every 5,000 gets you four star gold and four star silver tokens. And 
I really need you to open my, uh, I have a whole bunch of those in my main account. And the only thing I need to uh, level my, uh, um, my page is a few more row rowdy kilts. So I probably should use my diamonds and I can probably finish that off. All right, we got six pulls here. Nothing that we can need, but stuff we can use later. Speaking of Roddy Piper kilts. All right, three or two golds and four silvers. Okay. Now nah, it gets a lot harder to get the new guys. Um, on your mains. Um, I don't think there's anybody in the silver. Uh, I'm in League 15 in my main, and I don't think there's anybody in the loot that I don't have. Though, uh, realistically, um, and for this account, Silver League 8, I don't have Dusty. I don't have Corbin. I think those are the only two. Yeah, they're the only two that are in this league loot that I can get. I already have everybody else from earlier pulls, so. So I will save them till nine and see what we can, or anything new pops up and we can get there. Hung around long enough to get another free bag. And with that, I think I'll call it a night. I said on Tuesday, um, when I stream, we'll head out on the road and try to finish up the WWE Live Tour, get to Indianapolis, finish this off. If we don't finish it on Tuesday, we'll definitely finish it on Friday because by that point, we should have enough points for League Level 9. Thank you for... Uh, coming and hanging out with me if you've missed any of my old episodes or want to rewatch some that you have seen uh they're all out on youtube tinyurl.com slash outlaw pd gaming will take you to my youtube page if you want to get in touch with me on discord i'm outlaw pd number 3842 if you're looking for a faction the hillbilly gyms will be happy to have you come join us thank you for watching i'll talk to you tuesday evening eight o'clock eastern until then be safe and be happy have a great evening